channel it's your girl leah lore here and i'm back at it again with another video if you're new to my channel hey girl hey my name is leah i make story times i do videos i do hauls i do a little bit of this a little bit of that so it's like for the kids you know the vibes if you are a returning subscriber hey friend how are you i hope you're doing wonderful fabulous beautiful amazing all right y'all so before we get started if my voice is a little raspy i am overcoming a little bit of a flu it's not the vid it's the flu um i'm feeling much better but if my voice is a little bit raspy and i sound like dennis rodman my bad without further ado let's get started and before i start telling the story make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button because the thumbs up helps me so 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 much it helps other people see my youtube video and it helps me get into the algorithm a lot of y'all said y'all can't wait to see me at 10k and 1 million and um the only way for me to do that is for other people to see my videos as well so make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button to help your girl out all right you guys so it is story time sunday everybody's favorite day of the week story time sunday and i'm back with another one because my life is Get out. All right, y'all. So this is my story time about my nail salon horror story. I see a lot of these going around in YouTube and I've been getting my nails done since I was 13. There obviously have been some times where it didn't go the way I expected it to or the way I wanted it to. Um, I couldn't think of one until it happened this year. I just don't know why I didn't tell it right away. Anyway, so um, this happened in April after my birthday. As some of you know, I went to Aruba and I turned 25 this year. After I went to Aruba, I quarantined with my boyfriend for about like two weeks at his house. After my quarantine period was over, I was like, damn, I really need to get my nails done and I need to get a, a pedicure. Like I need to get my, my feet fixed. So um, at the time I had like my nails done by this black nail tech, but I had taken them off because they were really long and it was getting hard for me to do like simple stuff like tie my shoelaces. So I took those nails off and then um, I needed to get a pedicure. Now, let me just tell y'all right off back because y'all know I'm not a capper. I'm not a capper and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I have ugly feet, okay? I have ugly feet, thank you. You know how a lot of girls be like, Oh my god, my toes are so cute. They're so small and dainty and I love my white toes. I'm not one of them. Like, I'm I'm not, okay? My feet aren't ugly per se, but my toenails, they could do better. They could do better. Um, with that being said, I really am serious about like making sure my feet are always polished and pedicured. So I always get pedicures. I don't get them as frequently um, outside of like the spring summer periods, but I try to, you know, keep up with my feet at least once a month when it's not hot outside. So I like to get my feet done basically. This time um, I couldn't go to the place where I usually get my feet done. I have two nail salons where I'm comfortable getting my feet done. One of them, they also do my nails and the other one is just for feet purposes because they don't know what they do in nail wise. But I couldn't really go to those areas because that was in my neighborhood and I was still staying with my boyfriend at the time. I didn't want to pay an Uber there and back plus my nails like that didn't make sense to me. So I decided to go on Yelp and find a nail salon around my boyfriend's area that was decent enough. His area has so many nail salons. Like it's literally all over the strip. So I was like, one of these gotta hit. You know what I'm saying? Like one of these gotta be doing what they supposed to be doing. <laughs> that is not correct. So I call one of the nail salons that had good reviews and I'm like, hey, um, I want a, a full set and also a pedicure. I, you know, read reviews for somebody named Linda. Is she available today? She was like, yeah, Linda's available. What time do you want to come? So I'm like, oh, like around 2 to 3 o'clock. So she told me to come at 2.30. My boyfriend and I, we get an Uber and we get there like maybe five minutes later. I get inside a nail salon and of course everybody's chair is filled because it's Saturday. If you know, you know, going to the nail salon on the weekend is a bad idea. It's a no-go. Literally always packed, packed, like packed always in the nail salon on the weekends which is why i don't go so i'm like okay i check in and i'm like hi i'm here for linda for like a full set and a pedicure so she's like okay well um linda's doing someone's nails right now so do you want to sit ma'am ma'am my appointment is at 2 30 it's 2 28 what do you mean she's doing someone's nails right now? Like, I really don't understand. I, I don't get it. So she turns around and she talks to Linda. It's, it's clearly Linda in the chair. And I look down at the girl's hand she's doing and boy, why was she only now putting acrylic on this girl's hands? If you know, you know, putting acrylic on your hands is like maybe about the third, fourth step when you're getting your nails done out of 12. So I was like, nah, nah. 
my boyfriend has something to do at the time so i really was not trying to stay there the whole day so the lady was like oh do you want to get your pedicure first i'm like okay i go sit down and i'm looking around the nail salon and i notice that it's really really run down like this nail salon is not new it's not kept up to date the walls are kind of like peeling off it's very much giving me 2002 okay but i wasn't mad about it because usually like the whole like hole in the wall spots they be giving like the best jobs you know what i mean so i was impressed about it this girl she starts to get my feet ready and i'm expecting her to turn on the water in the tub because usually when you get a pedicure they turn on the water they put your feet in there they ask you if the temperature is good you know they get a good flow going this girl never turned on the water she never did literally she grabbed my feet and she started taking off the gel from my feet and i'm like is she not gonna okay I'm not gonna backseat nail tech, like I'm just not gonna do it. So I was like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna let her rock. So she's taking off the gel polish and um, she's doing my like, you know, she's, you know, taking the thing off. I see her, you know, turn on the holes in the tub and she sprays like off the dust and stuff from my feet. Still no water in the tub. All right, maybe I'll ain't pay the bill. She takes my feet and i see her start you know wiping it off or whatever and she's getting ready to put acrylic back on my big toe and i'm like wait 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 wait, wait time out so you're not gonna scrub my feet you're not gonna massage it you're not gonna take off the the excess you're not gonna get the cuticle clipper you're not gonna do none of that like like none of it what kind of pedicure is this baby what kind of okay so i was like are you giving me just a change of polish or are you giving me a pedicure she was like i thought you just wanted a change of polish i was like no i asked for a pedicure but since you're doing that already like just go ahead and just give me the pedicure so she was like okay okay no problem so she's now she's giving me you know the pedicure or whatever and it's fine i did notice that the nail um tools that she were using was a little rusty like it definitely didn't look new so i was a little concerned about that but again like i didn't want to be that girl so i didn't say anything she finished my my feet it wasn't a great job i'm not gonna lie there was nail polish all over like the sides and stuff but i just wanted my feet done i get my nails done that wasn't great either but that's not worth telling it's just the guy had an attitude the whole time because i showed him what i wanted and he basically told me like oh this is the powder you should use i said okay he puts the powder on and when it's all said and done he tries to put clear nail polish on my hands without putting a layer of nail polish and i'm like that's not what i asked you for he's literally going back and forth with me yes it is that's but that's how you get this job that's how you get this color and i'm like sir sir i understand but that's not the color i asked you for it's, it's literally not so um he had an attitude the whole time after that and i was just like okay things didn't get patchy until two weeks later when it was time for me to get a pedicure again the day after um wait hold on Things didn't get weird until like three days after my pedicure. At this time, I was already back home. I remember waking up and I was like, my toenails hurt. I was so confused because I've never really had toenail pain unless I hit it somewhere. And I know I didn't hit my feet. Not only that, but it was more than one toe that hurt. It was like several of them. So I remember sitting up when I got up and I was like touching my toenails and I'm like, why does this feel like that? So I text my boyfriend, I'm like, babe, my toenails hurt. He's confused. He has no idea what's wrong with my feet. He, he doesn't get it. Two weeks later, I go to the nail salon because it's time for me to get a pedicure again. This time I'm at my nail salon. I didn't take out the gel from my feet because I didn't feel like it. So I was like, they're going to take off the gel when I get there. I was going to pay off the extra or whatever. I sit in the seat. The girl gets to taking off the nail polish. She gets up and she walks somewhere to get something. At this point, I was looking down at my phone the whole time. Was not looking at my feet. So as she got up to walk away, I looked at my feet. Why are my toenails black? They are, they are black. They're, they're very dark. They're turning black. I was livid. Oh my God. Oh my God. At first, I wasn't livid because I was confused. I was like, wait, why is this happening? Like I said, I've been getting my nails done since I was 13. I've never had this happen to me before. So I'm looking at them, my feet, I'm like, what is going on? Like, why is it black? So I literally picked up my foot and I put it on my leg and I'm like touching the toes that are black and those are the toes that are hurting. So I'm like, mm, okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. Mm so I text my boyfriend and I'm like, my toenails are black. He's like, what are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm gonna put the, the screenshots on the, on the, the, but I'm like, my toenails are black. So he is confused. He's like, I don't understand. I'm like, it's the janky ass nail salon that I went to when I was in your area. They turned my toenails black because this never happened to me. I was really pissed off because I was just like, bro, I can't believe this. Um, and then I went ahead and I went on Google and I did some research and they said that it's either number one, I hit my foot, which I didn't. And if I did, I would remember. And number two, it could be a fungus. So I'm like, bro, I know you fucking say it ain't so. Give me a whole ass fungus, a whole fungus. And to this day, my toenail is still black, but it's getting better. But it's definitely, um, it definitely has some discoloration going on. So that is my nail salon horror story. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up on your way out. Follow me on all my socials. That is Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. That is out in the outro and also in the description box down below. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Shout out to everybody. I have fun.